Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Snack. We do have live show match action going to be coming at you right now. It is going to be on Shattered Temple. Duh and Wendy, we just got out of a match between these two guys. They were uh, battling it out, having a good old-fashioned time. Duh taking the win off, but it was kind of a different story because Wendy was casting with me at the same time, talking about his strategies. And uh, while he is, you know, a, a, a higher-ranked player than Duh at this point, uh, it's not by tons, and Duh is really giving him a run for his money, but we want to give him a chance to uh, you know to to take this game super serious we're going to see how who is going to be the victor in this game and duh in the meantime is going to be spawning as our yellow protoss down here at the six o'clock position and over here at the eight o'clock position it is windy kill casting with me tonight we had a great time this evening uh, but uh, really good stuff from windy uh, both on the casting side of things the meta gaming i love the research on this guy Really, really a great individual. So I hope to see more of this guy in the near future. But he's going to be our green Zerg player over here. And close positions by air. Nice thing for him is he will get an early scout out on Duh. Duh is currently going to be going for what appears to be a standard opener. Should see a gateway go down here momentarily. He's going to cruise over here. Sees, his over, sees the Overlord. Nice scouting there from Duh. Knows exactly where his opponent is spawning now. So can cruise out across this map and see what's going on on windy side of the map. I wonder what he's going to do here. Uh, probably going to go for his, what, pool first? Yep, indeed it is. He's going to go ahead and grab that extractor. Going to see a pool here at 14 supply again as well. A good standard opener from our Zerg player, Windy. In the meantime, Duh, about ready to toss down his gateway. Looks like he was a couple seconds late there on the gateway. Icefire does not like Windy's opening. Yeah, Icefire's a little bit more of a, of a wild card, though. I'll tell you what, man. He is uh, <laughs> he's a different one. I love him. A two death, but uh, so far so good on Duh's side of the map. It looks like he's okay with his opener thus far. Did get a good scout in on the timings of Windy. Sees the standard opener. We'll see where he's headed from here. Now, interesting map though. We do have a gold potential gold expand, and uh, it's just one of those things. We'll see if anybody's going to make it to take advantage of this. But Duh is a very very passive player in many regards, and Windy a passive player in many regards as well. In fact, he was telling us exactly that, and so I'm interested to see how these guys are going to be battling it out with Windy focusing here. My guess is that Duh is still going to have a pretty decent uh, time with this matchup. I mean, not necessarily that Windy's going to lose or anything, but because of the nature of Protoss, I think that that passive play tends to favor the Protoss player in some regard. So should we could potentially see just in general a little bit of an advantage here for Duh. Now he does have a Zealot cruising out onto the field here. Did go for his Cybercore first before he tossed down that Zealot. Wants to get his Cybercore out early, which I think is a smart play, especially because of the good scouting Duh got on his opponent. Knows that he doesn't have to worry about Lings for just a couple seconds more and is going to have that Zealot in place with plenty of time to spare. Does have now his Cybercore research on the way. No Chronos going down on that Warp Gate tech. I just want to mention that. For just a moment. No chrono there. He is going to be chrono boosting out sentry. So we are going to see what appears to be a fairly fast expand. Probably a one gate expand. He may go ahead and toss down his second and third gateways before he gets the expand. Or not. It just depends. We'll see how he's going to go from here in just a moment. Wendy does have that speed going to be about complete. And he's just do is still working on that on just the one drone here on the extractor. And what he was telling us in that last game is the reason that he does this. Uh, is to get that plus one carapace attack or upgrade out very very quickly and it actually it actually worked out perfect I couldn't believe the timing so he's really done a lot of research on that and that was a new one on me I really learned something there but that if you ever see that that is also another possibility so it's not always just bane links from that but yeah it's ex that's what I was gonna say look at that ice fire taking the words right out of my mouth makes me expect bane link bus that's it's exactly what I would expect with just one drone on gas makes you want to think Banelings. Evo Chamber, however, going down here in pretty good time. And the expansion about to be complete. So looking to be in pretty good shape. Two more gateway, or gate, yeah, gateways going down. And we should see Duh secure an expansion here at just about any moment. Oh, yeah, hindsight. I do apologize. I should have made myself referee. And so I cannot, I cannot mute them now. I can ask them to be quiet. <laughs> they would probably do it, but I do apologize for that. Usually I do make myself referee, uh, but since it was kind of a fun game, I, I didn't. I kind of wanted to see what some of them were saying. Icefire says, great minds think alike. Thanks, buddy. I uh, would be honored to be included in your category. Absolutely. 
Windy in a pretty good position here. He is on that solid second base. Now, Dub behind, in my opinion, he's way the heck behind on his expansion here. It's almost seven minutes in, and he still hasn't secured that expansion. This three-gate play, you generally want to expand behind this fairly quickly. And so, I, I, in my opinion, at this point, Dub is a little bit behind on that for now. But he is going to be going for what appears to be a push down to the low ground, maybe. Oh, yep, just down to the low ground, and here comes the expand. There goes your hologram, indicating an expand will be taken. Not a bad play. <laughs> but look at that, hindsight. So um, so uh, these guys, have they are trying to cater to you, man. Uh, Got to give these guys a high five for that, I'd say. High five for me. Get that for sure. I mean, everybody is very respectful of your wish there, man. That makes me super happy. Got to love that, but done. Now finally securing that second base appears to be an okay position. Hatchery now working on a lair here, it appears. <laughs> Thanks for that, buddy. Let's try and keep it clean. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, funny, funny. Okay, so Windy in decent shape. Notice he's cruising around the map looking for any hidden pylons or or probes. So good play from him thus far. Looks like a done. pretty decent defensive position. I like the spread of his units here. He's going to be tossing down some pylons in funky positions. Not a bad little deal there, but uh, should be ready to secure a third, apparently, in just a little bit since he's not pushing out here. And here comes some links just to poke in. Good scouting here from Wendy. He's maintaining that solid map control at this point. Look at notices. Overlord placement, really, really good, as well as obviously holding that center. Zelnaga Tower appears to be in really good shape. No third from him quite yet, however, so we'll see if he... I mean, he's tends to not... He said that he likes to play passively, so we won't expect to see one until right around the 11 to maybe as late as the 13-minute mark. But all in all, good stuff. He is going to be scouting back into Duh's base. Uh, uh, once again here, I do need to say that Duh appears to be a little bit behind here. He needs to have more than the three gates at this point. He needs to have chosen his tech pattern, I think, here at nine and a half minutes in, and quite frankly, we just don't see it yet. Uh, taking two more gas, and I really would like to see some more buildings out of Duh. Now, Wendy did sack that Overlord on purpose and got supply blocked. Not a, not a recommended play. I can give you that piece of advice here. But robotics facility going down here for Duh, as well as some more gateways. That's what we like to see. So he's choosing his tech pattern here. Looks like Wendy is going to be working on the rocks here to secure a third in just a moment. I like it. Checking in on that units tab. 48 drones. For Windy to 43 probes, done in phenomenal shape there, I'd say. Windy, in, I mean, he's obviously ahead, but uh, does doing a pretty good job staying on top of his economy here, especially considering how late he took that second base. Forge going down here for Dub, probably going to see some upgrades out of him in just a few moments, which I think is absolutely a necessity. And notice that Windy also going to be securing his gold expansion potentially here in just a little while. So he's got this Overlord here placed up here, so we should see that expand go down momentarily. Ling's going to be out on the field here. And Flyer Carapace on the way, as well as some Mutalisks. Is Doug going to be prepared for his defense against the Mutas? Interesting stuff. Huh. Gold going down for Windy first. What can you say, man? This is a great play for Windy so far. Notice the supply counts there fairly even. Windy slightly ahead, not by much. He is very heavy, however, on his uh, Zergling, so that's part of the reason why. And yeah, I mean, this is still anybody's game. We haven't seen much of an engagement at all at this point. A couple of photon cannons going to be going down here at the front. It appears Dud did secure, or at least remove the rocks at his gold. Hasn't secured the gold quite yet, but uh, Wendy has indeed done that. Looks like it's going to be up and running here momentarily. And he does have a macro hatch here. Good scouting observer from Dud. And here comes your mute as Dud did scout these guys. Got himself in position right away, except he's not on A move. Always, always A move, ladies and gentlemen. Super, super important. Wendy going to lose a couple of these uh, mutas here, though. That's a bad loss for him. Got to be super effective with these things, man. And he is going to see a couple of them go down. Nicely done from Icefire, who just left the game. Looks like he is pissed off. Wow. Icefire. <laughs> Rage quit. <laughs> Oh, man, I think I'm funny sometimes. But Wendy did secure his gold. I'd like to see that sucker go down. In the meantime, Wendy is going to be going for what appears to be a backdoor attack. These rocks still have not gone down here, but uh, he does, does has a good scout on these uh, rocks, so he should see them going down. But in the meantime, these rocks will indeed disappear, and Doug going to be securing his gold.
Great stuff from both players at this point, and here comes your Muta Harass one more time. We'll see if Wendy's going to be able to get a decent amount of damage done. Done. Fairly decent position here. We'll like to see him pull his probes. ASAP! Go, 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 go! Uh-oh. A lot of losses here, duh. Not, uh, not impressive, man. You gotta be pulling those guys. Got to be pulling your probes very, very quickly and getting these stalkers into position ASAP as well. So look at this dipping back in. This is a lot of probe losses to endure. Watch this units tab. 35 probes right now for duh is not a good position. So very, very effective play here from Wendy and quite a blunder. Uh, in my opinion, for Duh. It's just one of those things that he's got to work through, I think, in his play style, that you've got to be able to react quickly, quickly, quickly to that Mutalisk Harass. But uh, Lings are now up in the potential third here of Duh. Nobody here, obviously. The Rock's on the field still, so blocking these Lings from getting in. And Lings currently way the heck out of position. But nice-looking army out on the field here for Duh. Going to be warping in even more, and his gold expansion is about to be up and running. No defenses here, however. It looks like Windy make... Ooh, nope. He doesn't scout it. I thought he might cruise in there. But he is going to have to endure a push from Duh. Now, Duh's got a pretty substantial army. Plus one attack, though, complete. Mm, maybe not enough. We do have plus one, plus one on the Lings. And I can grab just one Muta. It's plus one flyer attack on the Mutas. And Duh is going to back out here. Kind of an interesting play. It looks like Wendy trying to force the base race. Trying to catch Duh out of position. Work on a run by... Not quite going to happen here for a moment. Doug going to be warping in some more units, and looks like he may move back out across this map. Windy, however, has been on this gold expand for just a little while, and it is really starting to kick in in a big way. So we'll see how this is going to go, but here comes your attack. Spinecrawler, mini forest. Not going to happen for very much longer. It looks like Windy trying to get a flank here. He is going to have to stall his unit production for just a moment. He is currently supply locked there. Thanks to Duh. Looks like Duh is going to help unsupply block him here. Lucky, lucky. <laughs> I guess. Uh, if you would, if that's what you want to call it. But uh, looks like uh, Wendy's still kicking at the back side of this army. Wonder if he's going to... Here he goes for another flank attack. Uh, force fields there. Not super effective, but this army's still in good position here. And Lead Edge notices the force fields as well. There we go. That's a little bit better force building there. Keeping a lot of those Zerklings at bay. As well as keeping some Zealots out in their face. It's not a bad little play there. But uh, Wendy losing a lot of units here. Goku currently slowing down the game. Is blocking that for me. But you look at this. Duh way ahead in the supply count right now. This is the power of a Protoss army. And now he's cruising into the mineral line here. With half well, there's a good portion of his force. And Wendy having to GG out of that game. Phenomenal play there from Duh. Very, very powerful push there. Even though he was behind economically, he was able to pull it out. And Wendy just needed, I think, a little bit better engagement there. Uh, probably needed a couple roaches maybe to help uh, tank some of that damage. But all in all, great play for both players. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for watching. Don't alt-tab. Always alt-starcraft. We'll catch you guys in just a little bit.